Hey guys, it's Josiah here. Welcome to another episode of Josiah's Group Reviews. Um, it is after midnight, and I totally forgot to review uh, the Indy race um, for this week for Xfinity and Cup. So, and also any car race too. I know Scott Dixon won a the Indy race, but I literally was asleep for the first part of it and didn't even get to see it. So, all I saw, I, I knew Scott Dixon won. Uh, the Indica race, and then the Xfinity race, it was a great at the end, it was Chase Briscoe, the hometown boy, who ended up getting the win, and doing a Tony Stewart, and, uh, that was a great finish to the Xfinity race, um, uh, I was pulling for Gregson, right there, I was pulling for Gregson, uh, it was between Briscoe, Almondinger, Sendrick, Gregson, and Haley got up into the picture, and moved up and finished second, and, uh, that was a that was a great finish. It looked like Briscoe was done, but three wide, three wide pass with a win, and Briscoe won it. And uh, now on the cup, so 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 Kevin Harvick goes back to back in the Brickyard. He won last year, and now this year. So, I mean, I was pulling for Kenza. That would have been great if Kenza won. Kenza finished second though. So, yeah. So Harvick won back to back. Also did Tony Stewart and. Uh, what I mean by Tony Stewart is they got climbed the catch fence like uh, um, Stewart did when he won the Brickyard. I think it was 2005 he won Brickyard 400. I'm not sure. Uh, so Harvick won, Kenza second, Eric Amarola third, and the top five for him. Um, it was just, it was a strategy call. Uh, Kenza Amarola like like a caution fell like right in the right time, and like Kenza and Amarola those guys had the fresh freshest tires, and they were never really able to catch up. Or pass Harvick, and that was unfortunate because I wanted to really want Kenza to throw someone to win. So then Keselowski fourth. Keselowski was never really in contention to win. Cole Custer, the rookie, top five. That's his first top five. Kyle Busch was six. Once again, not a great day for the eighteen. Not sure what's going on there. Michael McDowell, another solid top ten and seven. Tyler Reddick, the rookie, another strong A. Bubba Wallace, top ten by him. Second top ten of the Brickyard in a row. And then Joe Logano, 10th. Uh, he was leading early, won the pole, led early, but then, like, fell back. Uh, how did you, I don't even know what happened, but the 22 team had problems all day long. And we about it for the top 10. Chase Elliott finished 11th. He led his first laps of the Brickyard. I was thinking, okay, maybe this could be a great day for Chase. And then he absolutely goes to Piro, like, every single time. Like, literally, Alan Gustafson always like, every time there's, like, some sort of caution or something, Alan Gustafson always brings the nine car to pit road. Like, no matter what, if they have, if they pitted two laps before, they'll still bring the car to pit road. I don't know why. It was just, I think I heard it was miscommunication or something. And that just ruined their day. So, Chase Elliott 11. Christopher Bell, 12th. He was up there a little bit. Kirk Bush, 13th. Also was up there. Had pit problems early in the first uh, pit stop. Ty Dillon, 14th. Nemechek. Uh, 15, Boyer, Chastain for Spider Motorsports, finished in the top 20. Austin Dillon, 18, Matt Dillon, 19, they were involved in that last lap crash. It's top right, too, because they both had great runs. And Daniel Suarez, top 20. I think that's his first top 20. I think, or maybe a second. I don't know if he, I don't know. I don't know, but they really ruined Daniel Suarez and stuff. And then going down below, like, just outside the top 20, yeah, great. J.G. Yaley, B.J. McLeod, Quinn Huff. Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and then uh, some notable names. William Byron finished 27th. He had a tire issue late in the race. Same with Hamlin. He was leading with less than 10 to go. And with 7 to go, pounds the wall. Ends his day. Um, what else? Uh, Alex Bowman also at the wall. There are a lot of tire issues in the race. Um, Chris Buescher finished third first. I'm not sure what happened to him. Uh, Ryan Blaney for his tw uh, 32nd, um, there was an incident that happened with the 12, which I'm sure you guys know about, but I'm gonna explain that in a minute, and also he hit the wall, this is just a bad day for the 12 team. Uh, Air Jones, 33rd, once again hit the wall, there were a lot of tire issues, Jones, Bowman, Hamlin, Byron had a tire issue, a lot of, and Newman also finished 34th, um, what else, Ricky Stouts Jr., 36, Stenhouse, Allgaier, Turex, 36, 37, 38th. And then the Joint Priest, 39th and 40th, and they're involved in that Pit Road incident, which I'm going to talk about now. 
literally the first pit road in the competition caution. There's like a stack up on pit road because Indy's Indy's pit road is super thin. It's like too wide. It's so thin. I don't know why it's so thin. And there's like a wall, um, in between the track and pit road. So it's so thin. And there was like a stack up with a like medal or something. And then everybody got stacked up pre-spawn. And then the I don't know who it was, but it was somebody who was changing the tire on uh, Ryan Blaney got wedged in between two cars. He got wedged in between uh, the 48 car and the 15 car. He got wedged in between, and then he scurried in. Like, he just got squished, and he, he gave a thumbs up. He was okay, but he was transported to a hospital, and he was awake and alert, and obviously that's a good sign to know. That was That looked freaky, man. Um, I heard something happen like this last year, but I don't remember it. I don't know why. I don't remember it. And apparently something happened with Chase Elliott last year that I'm not going to talk about because that's bad. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that, so, yeah, there was that, uh, uh, who, uh, who was it? It was Zach Price. I think, I think that's his name. Yeah, he was the guy who got wedged between those two cars. That's scary. Like, this is why, like, why is Indy's, like, pit road so thin? They need to, like, that's the problem. Like, Indy needs to, like, widen it a little bit. Like, uh, that's not how widen it. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can show. Like, Indy is, like, this, maybe this wide? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm moving my hands. It's, like, this wide or something. They need to make it way bigger. Like, because it goes, like, too wide. And, nope, sorry. <laughs> the finger's in the way. Sorry about that. Um, but they're making it, like, too wide. That's like the highest you can, you can even go three wide almost, and they need to make it three, four wide. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but like, they need to make it so that it, it can happen, and not like just too wide, because that's, that that's that's literally not safe, and then there's a better chance, like what we saw today, where people, people get smushed between cars and stuff. Because it's really not safe to have thin, um, thin Piro, they need to have like, much wider and stuff. I don't know why they did that. Anyway, so that's that's indie for you. Um, and then the indie real course was the Xfinity Series. Obviously, it was a hoot, and so did the indie car run it. Indie car was a snooze fest. Uh, Xfinity was a lot better, and uh, this race was it good? I mean, it it was decent. You saw a lot of tire problems and stuff. You saw saw a lot of strategy and stuff. I don't know. It was just a lot of. There wasn't much lead changes though, like Battle for Lead. You saw a lot of. You saw changes, but those were like either for cautions or like restarts and um like pit road and stuff. So yeah, you didn't really see a lot of green flag passes. I think I saw like a couple, like maybe one or two or something. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Size Group Reviews. Um, NH4. I'm going to be with my dad's the whole weekend. So the whole week. Is going to be NH4, and I know that NH5 is out, like, like today or tomorrow, I think, NH5 is coming out, but I don't get NH5 until Christmas, so I'm behind, so, um, at least if I do get NH5, I will either, like, either do NH4 one day, then NH5, NH4, NH5, or I'll do NH4 and then do NH5, I don't know, but... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, before or be sure to look for a lot of NH4 because you'll see it like the whole week from starting like today because it's after midnight. It's uh twelve thirty six uh a.m. right now where I'm at. So yeah, you'll see stuff from today because like I said, it's after midnight. Once you when you stay up after midnight, it's confusing. Okay, it's confusing because it's like. Oh, wait, so I'll see you tomorrow. No, wait, actually, it's been a... I'll see you today or something. <laughs> anyway, so so today and through Sunday, that's uh, NH4. Uh, a lot of NH4 is going to be out. And uh, what was I going to say? I wish, I, I wish next week I could have been with my dad because uh, Wednesday is the All-Star race, and that would have been perfect. But anyway, okay, I'm just going to shut up now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, uh, hit the like button, um... Yeah, all that stuff, and uh, turn on notifications that so we don't miss any videos I post, uh, so yeah, see you guys next time, bye.